Hello, hello everyone. Victor with you here from theforexboat.com. Today is Monday. We're here with yet another weekly idea, which is on the euro versus New Zealand dollar. I would like to remind you all the information in this video is just for educational purpose only, should not be considered as a financial advice. Before we start with the euro versus New Zealand, let's move back to the previous ideas we had. Canadian Japanese yen uh, was the oldest idea, is basically at the point of entry so who don't want to really wait for this long trend setup because it could take weeks maybe months i don't know because if this is on the daily chart this is quite a strong move down which is nearly 700 pips and uh, yeah it's a long term obviously the risk here should be minimal per trade so if you don't want to wait you can close it at uh, at the break even point uh, because we will have a lot of shorter term ideas. Swiss franc, Japanese yen, here is idea is valid. We still holding this resistance uh, and only then the break and close above 111.65 will invalidate this trade setup. Euro Australian dollar, the trade is valid. Initial uh, stop loss we had at this point at 69, 1.69. So expecting here uh, still very strong downtrend. A stop loss can be put at the break even point. This is optional uh, if you want to play safe. Australian versus New Zealand dollar. There is not an optional stop loss at break even. It's a must. Um, a pair made a move down, raised back. So we are here protecting our trade. And our entry was at this level at 1.0734. If price gets to the, that level, that's an exit. If not, we are waiting for this kind of um, uh, pullback towards 1.0622. Next one is New Zealand Swiss franc. This trade idea was from Friday. What we have is basically price consolidated. The idea was to enter after two hours of the market opening. This, this Monday, and that would have been approximately at this area where the price is right now. So the trade idea is valid, but there was another option for entry. If price gets broken on four hour chart, we can see that there is a downtrend trend line still holding. So four hour break and close can start or trigger the rally to the upside. So to play on the safe side, uh, entry on the four hour chart close above, and uh, but if you want to get a better risk reward ratio, the trade is valid and can get entered uh, as of this price. Now, idea for today was is euro versus New Zealand dollar. On the one hour chart, we can see several points to consider. First off, this is the downtrend trend line. This is the average price trend line since we took the low and then went through the next next high, next rejection point here, uh, specifically 200 exponential moving average. And price remains below the average price trend line, but since this is the average price trend line, price can still uh, go back to retest uh, this, this level. Now, at, on the other hand, we have another trend line, which is a simple downtrend trend line, tops, top, tops. And we are right at the at the trend line, which should provide some resistance for this pair. Next point to consider is a clear rejection of the exponential moving average and the breakout of the support. Here, one hour chart broke below the support. This all suggests that the trend remains bearish and it's only the matter of time uh, when the price will start moving down. What we had is applied Fibonacci raisement to this corrective wave uh, up after breakout of the 200 exponential moving average. If I go to the forward chart, this is exactly the same spot. We had the breakout of 200 exponential average on four hour chart and on one hour chart simultaneously. This is a massive signal of the domination of the sellers and price you can see was producing lower lows and lower highs. I have applied this FIPS and now you can see 527.2 uh, retracement level corresponds to 1.77 psychological, almost precisely. This is the level of interest for buyers. 
and this could be the potential downside target. There are multiple uh, Fibonacci retracement levels to watch as well, but this is the most important one, and let's uh, let's have a look why. Moving on to the weekly chart. Now, on the weekly chart, we can see this support became the resistance, and price struggling to break above for a couple of a couple of months now. Another thing is we have applied Fibonacci from this low to this high, the overall down uptrend. And what we have is 50% FIBS acting as a resistance, 61.8% should act as a support. This is a weekly chart. Let's move on to the daily on the same chart. Or perhaps four hour, it will be more clear. Okay, four hour chart. What we have here is a clean rejection of the 50% FIBS. And I have applied yet another retracement level to this correction because there was a clean bounce. So we have two Fibonacci corrections and one Fibonacci retracement. And look what happens. We have 361.8, 552.2, and 61.8. All of them at the 1.77 area, plus minus, um, I think, 10 pips. This makes the area of 1.7703 to 1.7693 a uh, potential strong support for this pair. And finally, we're going to move on to the 15-minute chart. What we see is the bearish divergence. This is because price went higher than the previous high, although RCI failed to produce the higher higher. Here you can see it clearly. We have a double top here while the price actually went higher. So this is already a bearish divergence, the beginning of it. Although it's too early confirmed that it's a bearish divergence, we can already see that it is it might be forming. Obviously, the confirmation of it would be the break below the downtrend, uh, uptrend trend line. Another thing is where the rejection of 200 exponential moving average right there, we have rejection of both moving average at this stage and price continues to trade within the descending channel. Considering the fact that we are right at two exponential moving averages, this could be the good point of entry right at this stage. So we might retest 179, which is psychological level as well with the spikes. Uh, and to retest potentially this high, maybe even attempt to break it. But the stop loss should be placed at 79.36. This still makes the risk reward ratio of 2 to 1. And this is the idea basically for this week. I don't think it will last longer. The, I think the maximum it can go for is two weeks, but probably it, it might take much, uh, much lower than that, much smaller time, time frame. And as you can see here, there is a square and it shows the potential area for selling. We are right at the bottom of this area. And as I said, price might get back to this um, average price trend line, downtrend trend line. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to click the like if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. We will have the next trade idea this Wednesday, so in just a few days. Hope you enjoyed it and take care. Profitable trading to everyone.